if you can stay off of that third rail, yes. then it's appropriate and people, people appreciate that and it actually helps society. Welcome to the Golden Group Neo Marketing Podcast, a bi weekly discussion of best practices, latest trends, and modern techniques for professional business communication, including advertising, marketing, digital channels, social media, public relations, and alternative options. Kyle, how are you doing today, sir? Pritch Pritchard, the yes, professor. Sir. I'm present for duty. I'm here ready to learn from you today, sir. <laughs> well, my professional well, development I, continues I, <laughs> on under the tutelage of the professor himself, Pritch right. Pritchard, APR, I, PRSA fellow. I hope that this is informative, but there's, we were just talking before we started the session about all the things that corporations are doing and some of them that we wish they didn't, right? Well, um, a colleague, a couple of colleagues and I did a study, I guess it must be two years ago now, that looked at corporate social responsibility and some of the motives of CSR and, and took a look at whether or not corporations should be involved in social media mourning. Okay. So let's back it up. Um, and morning, folks, as in loss, not, er, in loss, not first not thing in, in, the, first in the day. thing in the day. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> so so we started, I think, the first awareness of this uh, kind of a, a trend was shortly after 9-11. Okay. When a lot of folks jumped on the bandwagon. And um, in particular, I remember the Bud, Budweiser Clydesdales and the ad that they had right. where the Clydesdales kneeled in front of an image of the A, a very Twin simple Tower. but powerful statement. For right. Sure. And, and, and the statement was, we mourn for our country. Yes. We grieve for those you know, who were lost, as opposed to the mattress company in New York City who built Twin Towers out of single mattresses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, mm-hmm. and, and and put them on sale, 9-11 sale, right? A 9-11 sale. N- not good. No, absolutely nope. not. So just as you in the past have given good and bad examples, <laughs> yes. there's a good and a bad there, example. You, that's true, yes. That's, that's the spectrum. <laughs> that's Best the spectrum. example, worst case worst scenario. Worst case, exactly. Wow. Exactly. But it you know, it intrigued us because this, this concept of social media mourning has really taken off. I mean, this was two years ago, and it's even even gotten crazier since. So we wanted to look at, okay, how do people see these? Should corporations be involved in this activity? Right. And if so, under what circumstances should sure. they? Right, because okay. it's not everything. It's No, it's not everything. It's absolutely not no. everything. It's, you know, you could be the twin mattress guys. If you try to do everything, you will become the twin mattress guys. But like all things in business, right? Focus and and selectivity is key. If you're not picking the right opportunity and you don't have the right message, then then our study showed, and so have several other uh, CSR, corporate social responsibility studies, it, it negatively impacts the company's reputation. The last thing you want to do is spend time, time and money on something that sends you backwards. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. That causes you to lose followers. Right, and, exactly. And whatnot. So um, so what what after we did a Qualtrics panel and all this other academic stuff, right? Which I won't bore you with right now. But there were some implications to our results that I just wanted to spend a moment okay. sharing. One is that we found from this panel that, yes, done properly, corporate social media mourning does count as corporate social responsibility activity in a positive sense. Okay. I understand that. So so in the first place, don't be afraid to put yourself in that position. You just have to pay attention to the other details that we discovered to do it correctly. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. So – um, when corporate social media morning messages, say that fast four times, I'm I glad, dare you. Are you taking your time with it because we <laughs> want to get it right. Right. Um, when they were perceived as informative, altruistic, truthful, then publics responded, will respond in 
uh, positive attitudes and supportive behaviors. In other words, they're going to pay more, they'll encourage others, they'll donate, they'll volunteer. Okay, so that's good. Yes. That's good for the corporation, that's good for society as well. I think that goes back to a concept that we talk about a lot on this podcast, which is authenticity. Yeah, absolutely. Authenticity. Right. Um, you, uh, you, they, the twin mattress guys were authentic, but they were authentic because they wanted to sell. The, authentically the kind of person you don't <laughs> right. want to be around. Exactly Not so. Not authentically someone you want to support, but authentically someone you want to <laughs> smack. So, so if uh, – Positive perceptions of informativeness, that's a big word that just means it's informative, it's altruistic, and it's truthful, uh-huh. right, causes the public to view corporate social media morning posts as valuable to society, the altruistic view. Yes, value to society, not selling widgets. And expected by stakeholders. So, again, and, uh, reinforces. Yes, paying attention to your audience, expected by stakeholders. I think that's the key to that entire phrase yep. is the stakeholders' take on it. Because, like all things, marketing and communication, it's all about the audience. Who's receiving the message and who are we intending to promote to our call to action? Absolutely. Absolutely correct. And if our stakeholders expect it and we don't deliver it to them, then we're, we're, we're you know, yes. we're, and if we're you deliver out of the something ballpark. unexpected, right. then you, that's the chance then to you, push them away. You raise their ire, they mm. get, you know, then they're going to penalize you, yes. right? Um, and in, in fact, negative perceptions of informativeness, altruism, and truthfulness cause the public to view corporate social media morning posts as taking advantage of the tragedy. Yes. So it's not just bad form. It's really bad form yes. and reputationally ruinous. Trying to take advantage of a something negative or even tragic right. is pandering at its worst. Absolutely. Trying to take advantage of the situation so that your bottom line increases. Yes. And, and what we found and many other scholars have found is that it's absolutely inversely proportional for sure for sure okay so um if if companies wish to engage we've got some guidelines real quick only information that helps only information that helps publics grieve only if not information that promotes the organization or encourages spending if you can stay off of that third rail, yes. then it's appropriate and people, people appreciate that and it actually helps society. And it gets the audience into a conversation space that is different than your typical, your standard marketing and it brings it back to the idea of human beings, right? Human beings work in the business, own the business, run the business, are trying to do the best of the business. Human beings are the consumers, the audience, the people who come into the business. When we meet together as human beings, the opportunity to see each other in a better light right. goes up exponentially. At the same time, if you do something very unhuman, very <laughs> bad form of human nature, right. then, then the uh, opportunity to, for you to be seen as less than human and negative right. goes way up as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's so you absolutely have to be true. very, very, very definitive in this and in the conversations. It's okay to have a conversation in the, in the back room about, you know, should we talk about this publicly and how might it benefit our brand? Right. But the execution can't be based on that. Right. It has to be based on what you're saying, being helpful, helping, helping, helping grieve, informative and true. Well, and we could have a whole separate podcast in this and maybe we will, but there are a number of theories out there that opine that business has a principal responsibility to make society better. Interesting. I think I'm going to challenge you to make that a podcast episode separate yep. in the future because I have some very strong opinions about that. <laughs> okay. Very yeah, strong good. opinions. All right. About so that. let's go. There let's you go. go. We'll, we'll make a note. The, we'll make we'll a note the after we're done. Off, right. That, exactly. We're, with, within the, within the next month or so, you guys, we're going to have that conversation. In a, in the meantime, don't be afraid to join the conversation in times of of national tragedy. Mm-hmm. As long as, again, you're being helpful, it helps them grieve, 
Um, you're being altruistic about it. it. I'm here. I'm trying to help society, and it's actually information that's helpful. I to think them. also I would add timely. Yeah, it has to be yeah. within the time frame that makes sense, right. and the same time frame that other corporate entities are doing the same. Right. It can't be too quick, right? right. Like, exactly. well, the you know the sirens Gotta are still going, right the lights are right. still flashing. Right. It's too early. Right. And you can't be too late either. Right. You know, you, you can't reference now to the you know the beginning of the COVID experience. Right now, it's it's a year too and late. A half ago. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Um, now. There are anniversaries and other milestones. You know, here in Oklahoma City, uh, we obviously, yeah. the, one of the biggest events in 1995, the bombing of the Murrow Building, we have a yearly recognition of those right. things. There are plenty of businesses, right. plenty of business people, et cetera, who often talk about, uh, you know, taking their, their staff. I know the Oklahoma City Thunder, every time they get new players, they take the staff to the memorial. Right. A lot of other businesses, a lot of, of tourism that involves meeting, you know, at the, at the memorial site, right. learning from that experience. Yep. There's a lot of corporate spots of the of the memorial itself, the Murrow bombing memorial itself. Those are all things that are timely because it's ongoing and because it's based on an anniversary and on the continuation yeah. of the lessons learned yeah. uh, uh, of of not not allowing such things to happen in our society. So those things don't have an, a, a a date of of stop. No, it was it was such a huge impact on the community. Right. Positive and negative, because there were a number of great positive things that came out of it. But it had such an impact that, yeah, that that particular event doesn't follow the necessary rules that we're talking but about. But a random tweet yeah. six months from the anniversary right. about su- supporting the museum is fine if it's altruistic. It's right. true. Number one, true. Do not lie true. about supporting Absolutely. nonprofit organizations or or civic uh, organizations if you're not. But true and altruistic and helpful, yep. you know, informative and educational, those things will sit well with people. But if it appears – that you are trying to drive your, you know, your Memorial Day sale <laughs> right. with associating yourself so, with, with something like yep, that, yep. then you step off into this puddle of mud you don't want to be in. That's yeah, exactly right. And you did right. it to yourself. And it's not necessarily mud, but yeah, we we I, keep it. I cleaned we, it up for you. We keep a clean show around here <laughs> usually. Anyway, so yeah, I, I just thought I ran across this the other day. I thought it was interesting, and it, I might like to share because. Well, there there are a number of things that corporations aren't doing necessarily well. So let's bring this one up and say, okay, this is one way that you can participate right. and do well if you follow those guidelines. Follow those guidelines 1,000%. Yeah, absolutely. This is one of those places where if someone says, well, it's a gray area, then you should stop. You should not do it. If it, it doesn't gray. fit, if it's sort of, you can't <laughs> right. you can't shove the, the square peg into the round hole on right. this. Sort of doesn't cut if it. If it's not right. a natural fit, if right. it's not all of the things that you just described, exactly the way you described it, then the conversation should stop. Right. And you should, and you should go back to what you would call your normal business flow and, and stay away from things because right. the opportunity to put yourself in that mud puddle is very quick. And then trying to get back out of that trying to get that mud off yeah. of you, if you ever step is in very mud hard to if not and it impossible. sucks your shoe off <laughs> absolutely <laughs> right. you know, like end up in quicksand you know <laughs> right. like bringing you down into right. nothing so right. Right. yes don't try to take a shortcut or take advantage but if something makes sense it is natural and it, and it makes sense to your audience the expectation of your audience which it's is one of the one of the things that you listed that's, and yep. it's authentic yep. then do it this is also another place where more is less. Or less is more. Uh, yes. Right. Right. I did. I said that wrong. You're absolutely right. You're right. Less is more. Right. Minimalism is at its finest yes. when it comes to memorialization and and public grieving. So the less that you have to go on and on about, the less likely you yeah. do it wrong. Correct. The more of recognition of helpfulness, of altruism, and then moving forward. Absolutely. So there you have it. And uh, we'd like to hear your comments. Um, If I'm full of hooey, I need to know it, please. And uh, my partner here tells me every once in a while that I am. You know I call him out when he does You can jump on it. You can jump on it. (laughs) And speaking of jumping on, jump on that subscribe, jump on that alert, jump on that heart. And uh, we we hope that uh, you'll be back with us next week when we bring you what we hope is more helpful and um, uh, information to run your business. Until then, ciao. Good luck.
This has been the Golden Group Neo Marketing Podcast. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Tell a friend, leave a review, and engage with us on social media. Thanks for listening. 